My name is Javier. I work in, at Intel. I'm in the group working on the OpenCL compiler for the Intel's processor graphics. And this is a little bit of a different presentation from what you guys have seen in the uh, talk today. Um, uh, we're very interested in, in build time and because that impacts uh, a lot of things in, in our uh, development uh, life cycle. Um, Clang and LLVM contains a lot of files, and they eventually add up to the compilation time. And uh, as I mentioned, it affects the development life cycle, the debugging, and also uh, verification of the, the testing um, of, the, of the code. Um, a distributed build system that we use, it helps reduce the, the, the time by distributing compilation into different agents. But uh, project dependencies, they um, restrict the, the ability of the distributed system to uh, spawn a compilation to other agents. So if not set correctly, these dependencies can increase, to, uh, increase the build time. Um, the current process to uh, check the, well, not to check, to optimize the dependencies is very painful, and it's just, as you would expect, we uh, start from the, the top, basically the, what, the binary that you're trying to build, and then remove dependencies, build projects, uh, look at the failures, and then start again uh, the, uh, the uh, dependencies that you just added. Uh, linking errors, uh, they usually mean project-to-project uh, -project dependencies, and compilation errors is something like a, a, a header that is not there. Uh, those are file-to-file -file dependencies, but they establish a link between project and project. Uh, we're currently investigating a way of automating this uh, process. Um, the one example of the dependencies, and this is very, very simplified, is how the, the binary depends on a, a series of libraries. And let's say, for example, after doing the analysis, we see that the blue arrows are not needed. Then we can transform it to uh, the graph that we have on the right, which, as we can see, is not only uh, shorter than the original one, but it's also, um, it has several nodes that are in, in, in parallel. So lib B, C, D, and, and F can be built at the same time. Um, to show some results, we, we built Clang. Uh, this is in the platform that we use is uh, targeting Windows, Visual Studio. And this was uh, Clang 3.0. And, and the results that we have is before we, we did the dependency analysis, we have um, very large build times on, on our system, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, and then release is a, a, a lot better with four and seven. Uh, but after doing the, the Dependency analysis, the, the improvements were from uh, anything 20% up to 63%, which is quite noticeable. And that basically allows to um, have a continuous integration process where we can build at every check-in and then uh, not have to wait for long build times. That basically concludes my presentation. I, I think uh, so, um, in plans for the future is to do a more thorough analysis of the different projects and try to uh, discuss with the community ways of um, adding these de the improved dependencies to the, 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 uh, the trunk. Thank you.